What's up, suckers? Today, tonight, we go back, 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 back in history to Sunken Temple or the Temple of Al Hakar. Oh, is that what they called it? I don't know, but they even call it Sunken Temple. Fun fact, they even call it Sunken Temple uh, in the dialogue inside of Stonard. So when you talk to the innkeeper and ask the innkeeper about what sort of dungeons you can visit around here, he doesn't talk about the Temple of Alga. He talks about Sunken Temple. And why did it sink? We don't know. Was it leaky? I think it might have been just leaky. Now, when you're multiboxing, um, one thing you got to know is you can't jump in water. If you try to jump in water, it breaks follow. So try to swim along the surface of the water with your nose facing the sky. And your people will hopefully not run out of breath like my mage is trying to right now. Bonus content! I'm going to show you how to get into the Temple of Alaka. Otherwise known as Sunken Temple. If you're watching the stream today, please do say something. It helps me immensely um, pass the time because, let's face it, Vanilla WoW is boring. It is boring! Boring, Jerry. Uh, if you have done it before millions of times, I mean, you won't get bored. So the only thing you can do is chat about it. Chat about what you're doing. Get in there. Notice you've got to swim underwater to get into Sunken Temple, which, yeah, you know, name checks out, as they say. Uh, why don't we um, just assume there's going to be PvP in here? Um, probably not, although that that's probably a prop skeleton. Uh, always look for signs that the Alliance has been through here. And you will be just fine. That's good enough. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fight through the entryway of Sunken Temple, and you're gonna go um, right, left, um, left, left, lots of lefts. All right, we're about to make the first right here though. But I do want to skin. Skinning, um, I think, is actually gonna turn out to be a pretty good money maker for me. And you're going to see me skidding a lot tonight, which is going to slow things down quite a bit. Now, I did change 5 into multiboxing today so that Alt-1 goes back to simply being focus my target. It does stop spell casting, but it doesn't deselect target. I was kind of trying to use Alt-1 as an oh shit button. Oh, somebody just leveled to 51. <laughs> yes. And that's how fast you level <coughs> inside Sunken Temple. Um, but really, um, Alt-1 is supposed to make you assist the tank. And let's go ahead and start decursing. We'll throw a Poison Totem down. We'll decurse some disease. Got that assigned to Middle Mouse button on my Click Overlay. And we are going to keep skidding, man. You're going to get sick of watching me skin tonight. Left. That was another left. That guy's probably going to break lock. Because we're not going to pay attention to him. And then it circles around. I mean, you don't really have a choice here. so. But now you're going to do hard left. What are these guys doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? 
They lost, that's what they're doing. Let's get them into here. Dudes, what are you doing? Some people did not come. Hard left. They tried to fight. They tried to be heroes. Don't be a hero when you're multiboxing. Actually, multiboxing has plenty of room for heroes. Be a hero when you're multiboxing. Oh, geez, there's more people here. Let's just go to Blizzard. And we're going to do some chain healing. Chain healing starting with me, baby. I'm going to drop a monetide. And we are smoking this place. Of course, we're not actually in the dungeon yet, mind you. This is not what you want to be doing. You can actually sneak through here with almost no um, combat if you do a better job than I did. And um, Let's just keep everybody alive here. Oh, the snake came in. Let's stun him. Silence him, stun him, beat him down, skin him. Definitely going to be skinning some snakes. I don't see any alliance around here, so I think we're okay to take our time. We're going to use the middle mouse button, which is what I got decurse program for. We're going to skin that baby. There's not a lot of skin around here, so I'm going to delay you for about six seconds while I pick up that skin. Slap me some skin, baby. No, I mean, this entry into Sunken Temple can really turn into ugh, a huge deal that you don't want it to turn into, so don't let it turn into a huge deal. Take small bites. Um, make sure that, you know, you, you kill everything on the way in. Just so. Disease totem. That's right. I like dropping totems. Probably shouldn't do what I'm doing right here, which is um, just run up to the mobs. That's like the worst strategy you can possibly use. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that strategy. What do you think? Now, the macros you're seeing me use tonight are not the macros that are shipping with 5-minute multiboxing. I promise you I will get them in. And you will be using my macros. Um, they're pretty damn awesome. How I've got them wired right now at level 50. And um, I had to deal, I had to live without them for a few days because my power supply went out on my main computer. And my main computer is my um, sharing computer. That's the computer that shares all my macros with uh, my other computer. And so here I was not having my main macros, so I had to use five minute multiboxing starter macros, and uh, it, that's when I realized I need to update my starter macros. They're not that cool, bro. Not that cool, bro. Okay, so there, the mistake I made there was I, I opened with the three button, I didn't, didn't get off the three button, and here's the problem with the three button. The three button doesn't throw um, Curse of Recklessness on targets, so um, yeah, that guy ran away, pulled another mob, I'm in bit of trouble, I threw a disease totem down, get rid of that disease at least, and there you go, my trouble turned into more and more trouble, that's alright. We got a we got a warrior mofo here, and see, I had a death going in, and that's this is exactly what you want to avoid, and the way to avoid it is be best, be better than be better than me. Um, I'm gonna throw away the intellect on the druid and the warrior, and I am going to switch to. 
uh, cheaper water. Switching to cheaper water here on the mage. Now I'm going to summon a bunch of water. We are still not in Sunken Temple, in case you were wondering. Oh, it's it's harder than that, bro. It's harder than that. Res Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes. And boom, we are in the game I should heal that's right I'm gonna heal now tank druids who aren't in bear form they will actually heal if they're standing up um, but if you move them like I just did they will not heal so let's get my thorns back on uh oh you know what I need a little water on my druid too because my druid cast spells once in a while He's responsible for a big part of the buffs. Mark of the Wild. So drink up, man. All right, who doesn't have MOTW? That guy. That guy don't have his pet. Um, you gotta drink some more. You gotta drink some more, healer. And this guy don't have intellect. And you got to drink some more. And we need a soul stone. We need to put the soul stone down. All right, we are ready. What's up, Zeep? Hello. Welcome to 5-Minute Multiboxing, where we multibox in five minutes. And the way I've written my macros is if I have my mouse over somebody who's red, I will taunt him eventually. Um, if I don't have my mouse over anybody, I won't taunt. Of course, Alt 2 will always call a taunt. And I should heal more often. Not be a scrub. Yes. Now, uh, this next little segment, uh, this is a tip, pro tip, coming right up. And here's what you do. You just run right over to this rail. Ignore that guy. Don't do anything with that guy and start jumping. Jump right on down. Ignore everybody else. Ignore that guy. Unless you got a fight. Now just hit the up arrow and run the rest of the way in like the wind. Now you're in Sunken Temple. Good for you, man. You fought your way in here, baby. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to go direct right down the spiral. All right. Because we are here for bidness. We got our Hakar egg. So we can summon Hakar. So we are going right to the good stuff. We're going to go be summoning Hakar. Have you found something like Super Macro for Classic? Yeah, of course. We use it. It's called GSE Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Oh, see somebody else. Already answered that. Thank you, Eodoran. That was a fine answer, Eodoran of Feralis. I've just granted you a, a dukedom of Feralis, so good on you, mate. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call a bloodthirst and go 
five, and we're gonna drop some chain heels. Too late. It looks like VJJ may not make it. Um, he was busy dropping his initial tokens. That's why his chain heel came in late. He wants tokens, totems. He wants to drop his initial totems. So um, while you're doing AOE, which I stopped by the way, while you're doing AOE, you can mouse over things that you need to uh, taunt. But I, I actually was not pro enough to, to keep doing that. Uh, do continue to skin because the skinning here is uber good. Hey, Adoran. All right. I'm the first person. Woo! I'm, I'm super into linguistics and, uh, and um, what do they call that? The study of words. Uh, I'm super into that, brah. Okay, we're going this way. Linguistics and uh, what is that word? I'm super into that word that means the study of words. Oh, we're way too low. This is this is bottom floor. We did not want to come to the bottom floor, so I actually steered you guys wrong. So we're gonna get out of the bottom floor. Woo! Look at all those oozlings. I'm gonna five this one. Five it up, baby. Okay, well, this didn't start well. I had you guys go down the spiral staircase to the boss at the bottom, but the boss at the bottom isn't activated yet. So that's not where you want to go, brother. Brava. We want to go right to the Hakar floor, and it is knocked down the right spiral. It is down the right staircase. Okay, so let's reset because I want you guys to get the fast forward. We'll fix it in post. Okay, you've come in. You've come into Sunken Temple. Now you're going to go to the right. Not far right, but. Um, near right, <laughs> near right, and you're going to kill everything. Bam! And I'm just hitting. You can see what I'm hitting on the screen. Uh, it flashes which button I'm hitting, and it flashes which other buttons that button hits. So. Just uh, don't try to read too much into it. Hit your two button, hit your three button if there's more than one target. And use five minute multiboxing mother guys. All right, so now we're gonna go down the stairs. I'm gonna beat these guys up. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop death wish again and I'm gonna go with the five key. Uh, I'm gonna watch the JJ carefully because if the JJ starts getting damaged, that means she's getting focused and I can't be asked to um, taunt everybody, but I'm taunting a little bit. I mean, I'm taunting with my mouse, mouse over taunts. And if you want the mouse over taunts, do um, do stay tuned. I will make them available. I will make my level 50 um, macros that you see here available to all. And the level 50 macros are not significantly different from the level 60 macros. Um, all right, so where am I at now? I am at the wrong place. This is, this is also the wrong place. <laughs> I'm taking you all the wrong places. Okay, do we have some juice? We have some juice. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna control two on my warlock a few times so he can drop his shit. Woo! I saved you, Mutalia! I saved Mutalia. I'm actually gonna do a um, AOE taunt, control three, AOE taunt. And get all these snaky things on me. 
So I only have to heal one guy. I'm going to hit a couple of Fs because everybody was kind of facing the wrong direction. F twice will get people turned around. And honestly, when you hit 50, 51, you're safe to come here in Sunken Temple and do any pull, fight any boss. I really can't say that yet. I mean, I don't know if you can fight any boss because I really haven't killed that many bosses in here. Like... The last time I was in here, I tried the boss that we're about to do, which is um, Hakar. And um, I forgot. I forgot um, how to do it. I didn't know what to do. So the battle went on forever, and it never ended. And I used all my mana up. I used all my cooldowns up, and the battle just kept going on. I didn't know why. And I kind of had to look it up afterward to uh, review my to review my memory of why. Now we're on the wrong floor. This is the uh, statue floor, and the statue floor is used for activating the boss at the bottom. But I've already killed that boss a few times. There's a video up of it of how to do it, and he's really easy. But I've actually got the things off that boss I want to get. So I really don't feel like killing him again. I don't need to kill him again. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and find the proper floor, which is above me, I guess. Yeah, I was supposed to go up a little bit. So we're going to go back to the stairs. We're going to get up those stairs, and we're going to keep going up. We're going to get our gelatinous goo. We're going to get paid in gelatinous goo, which is basically what my wife gets paid in. And we are going to find the proper thing. Which I think is this floor. This is the floor. Which is the floor we're getting to next. This is my boys. This is where well, we're going up really high. I feel like I feel like we're going up a little too high. I don't think this is the right floor. But we're going to kill our way through and find out. I think we got Death Wish up again. No, no Death Wish. I want Death Wish. Let's heal the JJ. JJ is our prime healing target right now. And uh, we're just going to keep taunting people who need taunting and keeling people who need keeling and no one going to die you know the only people who've died so far on the outside don't underestimate by the way that that route into st um the route into st is nasty um and it's kind of like a dungeon in itself so the reward for that dungeon getting to do sunken temple <laughs> that's your reward sucker okay so now we're up at the pit of sacrifice up way above the pit of sacrifice this is not the pit well this is the pit of sacrifice the thing we were at below is the pit of refuse so we do want to be in the pit of sacrifice we do want to kill all these um we do want to kill all these mini bosses they call them the mini bosses actually have a chance to drop something good. So those of you who are here for loot, the mini bosses, it's just something you do have to kill. And um, yeah, so they don't very often drop anything good. All right, let's, let's be honest. And I really don't have time to go do them, but um, they do sometimes drop something good. So when you're jumping down, you want to spot... You want to spot your landing, all right? You do want to spot your landing. Your landing is going to be between two packs. Boom. Okay? That's your landing. That, that was really kind of iffy for me, all right? I feel like I was a little too close to that pack. And now you want to rebuff. Let's rebuff. Let's drink. I'm going to make sure we're all drunk. Do we have our pet? Yes. Do we have our... Um, Soul Stone, yes. And 
then we're going to start pulling six packs. Now these six packs can be very difficult for um, young multiboxers. Although by the time you hit 50, you probably aren't really a young multiboxer anymore. Why is Battlefield not drinking? Let's get Battlefield drunk up a bit. But, I mean, multiboxing takes skill and time to perfect. And a lot of the time when, even me, I mean, I've been multiboxing for three plus two years. And I often screw up and get things confused and don't do things right, etc., etc. So, what we're going to do with these babies, these six pulls, is we're just going to walk up to them. And then we're just going to start swiping. And when they get up here, we're going to hit Death Wish. And we are going to start fiving. And we're just going to chain heal. Now I can taunt. I can taunt the reds. And I did. I moved my mouse over long enough to taunt a red. And if you just keep fiving all the way to victory... You're, you're just fine. As soon as there's one guy left, you can stop fiving. Taunt that guy and finish him off. And now you've done a six-pack with very little risk. Very little... Um, nobody was in any danger. Um, probably the first time you come in here and try that. <laughs> probably the first time you come in here and try that. It won't go quite that well. All right. Um, it certainly didn't for me. But, you know, after a, a few tries, um, you'll, you'll have it down and there won't be any danger to these pulls. Uh, the only issue with them is um, they are a drink pull. That means you drink after each one. And so that kind of slows things down. And it slows things down even more for me because I want those green dragon scales. I want those green dragon scales. I know they're used for something good. I don't know what it is, but I know they're used for something good, and I want it. Someone should look that shit up for me. I'm so lazy. I mean, I'm like, I kind of remember things about Vanilla WoW, about Classic WoW. Okay, so uh, Druid Trick. I don't know if you play Druids much, but the Druid Trick that you need to learn to use is take five points in Fuhrer, Control four and five minute multi boxing that will stand you up, and pick somebody, pick pick your target out, hit Alt one, make everybody select the target, and then just hit Alt two, so you charge and your warriors charge in. That's a good start. We're gonna get some death wish, maybe no death wish still, still looking for death wish. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just watching my bars here. I'm not even watching what's what's happening here on the screen. And I'm just uh, not chained healing. Why? Because I had my character window open. And if you have your character window open, nothing's going to work. So um, let's, let's see if we can survive this because that was not cool. So I'll, uh, I'll just hit my 7 key, which is which I drive drug and drop. 7 key is not programmed 5 minute mold box. I just, I put my... Um, frenzied regen on the seven key but yeah if you have uh, take a look up here you see my healer I had my character window up so when I was doing chain heal trying to click there it wasn't clicking on the on the um, raid interface so nobody was getting chain healed and in fact nobody still is getting chain healed oh because I'm using the wrong freaking button I was using my cleanse button. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you panic. Because you've got character windows covering your click interface. So you don't want your character windows covering your click interface during any fight. But, I mean, our gear is good enough now. We're at 51. We got some good drops from Mardon. Our gear is good enough now that we can actually kind of fail our way to victory on some of these pulls so we're just gonna keep doing that we're gonna get our green dragon scales no green dragon scales though 
Lots of rugged leather, which is what I need to level my leather working the rest of the way. I'm almost done. But you do need a lot of rugged leather. All right, there's one more six pull over here. We're not even going to drink because that's how easy it's going. We're going to control four. We're going to alt two. We're going to walk up to this guy. Then we're going to switch to three button. Uh-oh, our guys are caught on bones. Then we're going to switch to the five button. And I really am going to drop my chain heels this time. And they are going to work. Switching target to Mutalia. Because she's getting hammered. I really like Chain Heal. I like any smart heals. Oh, somebody's telling me what Green Dragon scales turn into. Hold on. Let me finish this um, scale bane. And we will look. All right. Uh, nature resist chest, gloves, and legs require level 49, 92, depending on the use. Okay, nature resist stuff. All right. Mm, too early for nature resist to be very valuable, I think. So, um, what do they DE into? That's the next question, because I, I really need to make money starting now, and that means they have to DE, whatever I make, they have to DE into something good. And, you know, if they have a chance at a greater eternal essence, that's probably the best case scenario. Uh, that's the most valuable of the enchanting materials besides, obviously, Nexus Crystals. Although Nexus Crystals, once people start running MC, actually can sell for less than greater eternal essences. So um, what we want to do now is rebuff our, our personal buff. And we actually still have... Um, another one or two, just another six pull, two six pulls left. So we're going to do these last two six pulls just because they're fun. It's fun to dominate the six pulls. Um, these can be tough even in, even in, in actual, you know, parties and, um, you shouldn't underestimate them. I don't know when I'm going to switch to Arcane Explosion. Um, not yet, I think. I'm enjoying Blizzard quite a bit right now. Uh, we don't need... Arcane Explosion is better in PvP. Um, but we're mostly PvE, so... Um, I'm, I'm sticking with Blizzard for now. At some point, I'm probably going to switch permanently to Arcane Explosion. Don't know when. But I'm on a skin right now, baby. <gasps> Give me that skin. Give me that skin. But I think Arcane Explosion probably is higher DPS, um, higher mana use. And I'm fooling myself if I think, you know, any sort of pull where I use the 5 button is going to be one where I can just keep chain pulling but right i mean right here i kind of am i'm chain pulling but with an asterisk on it because i'm chain pulling after i skin which gives us a lot of time to um you know regen mana Okay, let's see if uh, we got. Okay, so we do have Death Wish there, so we are going to. In fact, I'm not. I'm not even gonna chain heal this time because I'm a bit worried Mutalia might just get overloaded with Dermage. But I'm saving my mage, I'm watching everything. And now we can just switch to the three key and finish this off without worrying too much about it. You'll find out. I mean, when you get in here, these six pulls um, will probably be a bit of a bear for you unless you're just really over-leveling the place. Um, you know, you come in here at 54 or something. 
But if you come in here at 50, which is when you should come in here, um, these six pools, you know, you want to be cautious about them is all I'm saying. And really feel your way through the first, the first few tries. Now, the real pools in here that are hard are actually not the six pools. They're the four pools at these entries. These pools are difficult because these guys all hit really hard. And um, what I want to do here today is I want to go right to um, Spirit of Hakkar. So we are actually going to go down this hall and we're going to fight Spirit of a car if I'm going in the right direction. Hey, whatever. Small brilliant shards are the worst thing you could ever DE anything into. They are the most worthless shards. So um, you definitely don't want to DE anything that has a chance to, to turn into a small brilliant shard. You want to vendor that. Um, so, okay. Green dragon scales, note to self. Not worth that much. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep one of these dragons. And um, do I have it out on the bar here anywhere? I'm just going to uh, cast sleep on one of the dragons. And I do need to actually bust it out. Hibernate. Do I, ha I thought I had it out here. guess not. Okay, I'm going to hibernate that dragon. And then we are going to do our best to just kill something. And that dragon didn't stay hibernated for long. So this is going to be a rough one. So we're actually going to switch everybody back. Because dead DPS does nothing. And we are going to switch to... We're going to taunt this Nightmare Scale Bane. Then we're going to taunt this one. And just make sure you kill things fast. Taunt things off your clothies. And um, keep things dead. Dead DPS does nothing. So if you have a choice between, you know, a really strong dude who has a lot of health left and a weak guy who has no health left, Get the weak guy who has no health left, right? Because dead DPS does nothing. Keep the keep the DPS dead. And I'm just hitting F here. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm hitting the F key twice to loot. I don't have anybody really assigned to grab all the loot, um, mainly because it's just easier to hit the F key because the F key also makes my skinner skin whoever I'm targeting and gets us through here faster. In we go. How's our thorns looking? Our thorns, it's going to get a refresh. Now, I personally assigned charge to alt. Why did I assign charge to alt? I used to just charge on the two key, but then I made it, made it, you know, only charge an alt. Um, the reason for that is um, too many situations I found myself in where I did not want to charge in. And I just wanted to hang back and have my my bombers bomb from far away, especially with my other team, the hunter team. Um, also, in PvP, I don't always want to charge in. I don't always want to charge in. Sometimes in PvP, I want to sneak up on somebody and just bomb them a little bit while, they're, while they don't see me. And that's a much better thing to do um, than charge in. If you get if you get to jump on somebody, you definitely wanna you definitely wanna um, bomb them with a few spells first. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Now we are here. We are here at the Hakar. This is where you summon Hakar. It's as easy as that. This should have gone a lot faster on my stream. Sorry, <laughs> but I took some wrong turns in Sunken Temple. I'm still learning it. And um, you can just run right here and get it done. And actually, I was supposed to take the left spiral. 
the not the right spiral the left spiral would have got me right to the dragon floor and that's what i wanted okay so if you're going to do the hakari summon event you need to have a plan why do you need to have a plan because there's something you need to do during the fight that's very important and that is you need to have one of your guys run over to a dead um, dragonkin and pick up his blood and then run over and extinguish a fire. Okay, so you got to do that really fast. And you need to take the least critical of your characters over to do that. So I've never done this successfully. This is my first real try after figuring out you know, what you're supposed to do in the, in the fight. Um, but you're going to watch me and see if I can do it. We only have two minutes left on our soul stone. So if we do wipe here, it's going to be a resurrection and we'll be relying on a soul stone next time. And that's okay. So here we go. The least um, valuable character that I'm going to have get the blood is my warlock. Because my warlock has a pet who is doing pretty good damage by herself. Okay, so we're calling the spirit of Hakar. It's not really Hakar, it's just the spirit of Hakar. Okay, I'm gonna death wish right away. So get rid of some of these guys. And we're gonna be throwing chain heels around. And it's really important that you're efficient here. So make sure whatever you do, you do it the most efficiently. Uh, you want your tank to, to take all the damage that he can. And you want to call your um, you want to call your monetized totem early. Look how much time we have. Can you drink here? I think you can. Yeah, we're drinking. So drink when you can. Absolutely drink when you can. You can't really fight that guy. Let's bring our pet back because our pet is just standing over there getting killed by a, a snake. And again, make sure people get off of um, anybody but the tank. That's how you are most efficient. And don't let snakes beat on non-tanks. And that's how you save mana. That's how you um, fight in WoW efficiently. Okay, we've got a, the Blood Keeper. And now we have the first of our very important targets. And it's this guy, the Suppressor. He's the one who drops the blood. And we got to kill him as fast as we possibly can. Meanwhile, healing all the time. And then the Warlock's going to pick up his blood. Did you get the blood? Yes. And the Warlock's going to come over here and extinguish the fire. Yo, Fury Swipes got the blood. What? No, not Fury Swipes. He was not the one who was supposed to get the blood. Dang it. Um, that's... That... That did not really go the way I wanted it to go. So we're going to fight over here by the... Heal me up a little bit. Hit seven. God, I've got to come out of form to do that too. So this is the opposite of efficiency. Kill this blood thingy. I'm going to hit the um, AoE taunt. And we're going to try and get healed all the way up right here real quick. And we are going to have... Should have another suppressor out there pretty soon. And we're not 
obeying our dead DPS does nothing. I'm going to actually take a healing potion and take some of the pressure off. Oh, here's a suppressor. Let's beat on this suppressor. Okay, Spirited, definitely heal yourself. Spirited, do you have a healing potion? No, you do not. Do you have a mono potion? Yes, you do. So Spirit is going to heal herself a little bit. And we got a suppressor here. We're going to loot the blood. Loot the blood. Loot the blood. Where's the blood? Okay. Suppressor. Got. No, run back. Don't want, don't want our, our blood carrier to get wiped out. I'm just hitting the three button, by the way, if you're wondering. Doused. Okay, we are going to have monetized back in one minute and 10 seconds. And we're going to have, um, oh, we got another suppressor here. Let's go get him. Okay, we're all on this suppressor. Okay, let's see if I've got my... Okay, I'm gonna taunt people. I'm gonna keep healing. I'm gonna taunt that guy. I'm gonna turn my raid a little bit. Oh. This suppressor's on my healer. We definitely do not want that. It's got to reincarnate now. Didn't want to use the reincarnate because now we're kind of hosed there. Okay, suppressor's dead. I want to loot the blood. Did I loot the blood? I think I looted the blood. Metallia's about to die. We don't want Metallia to die. Metallia died. Requires Hikari blood. Okay, I did not loot the blood. Man, who has the blood? Where's the suppressor? Okay, so he's going to um, summon a soul stone. And eh, I don't know if it's going to work though. I think it's not going to work. Mainly because Spirited was not going to die in a good spot. So. Damn, that's hard. Oh, this is going to be a good one, guys. Oh. All right, let's try again. Whoo! That is a hard fight, people. When you get this fight, you are going to earn it. See something I'm doing wrong, let me know. By the way, I've got all my graphics turned up to highest. No, I do not. I do now. That's right. All my graphics are turned up to highest now. Look at the flowers that appeared. Oh my gosh, all the wasted years. I actually don't think the graphics looked this good on highest back in vanilla. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they did. I think they look a lot better in classic than in vanilla. So we need to think this through a little, a little smarter. And what I mean by that is, um, we need to think if there's a better way, better positioning um, to be in. And I'm actually gonna experiment with some better positioning. You really do have to experiment when you're a multi-boxer. You have to experiment a lot and you need to find kind of the exploits, the exploit positioning that really nails it. Um, sometimes you can get people to um, give it up, you know, on the forums, in Wowhead, whatever. Sometimes you can find a hint that, hey, you know, that's a really good idea. We should do that. 
And a lot of times you just figure it out yourself. I mean, it ain't hard, it ain't rocket science. You've all been playing for years, and if you haven't been playing for years, welcome! You've chosen an interesting game to spend your time with. All right, I said left, left, left. It's left, left, right, and then a tight left. Leave it to me to give you bad information. I do like challenges like this. I mean, this is why I got into multiboxing. Um, I felt like I could kill raid bosses and with Vanilla WoW, which has a completely different programming API, by the way, than Classic. Classic is not vanilla. It's not anywhere close to what vanilla was. Um, it's a laugh compared to vanilla. But um, that don't matter. Um, I decided I could kill bosses because I could code this up a, a, a bit in vanilla and prove that I could kill bosses. And I killed a bunch of bosses. I went through Molten Core, killed the first boss in um, AQ40, killed most bosses in um, AQ20. And yeah, it was good, man. It was good. Let's buff up. Oh, we ain't buffing anymore. Did we not get our succubus out? Oh, mother Franks. Dead. Death wish going for JJ dead. That's all right. Our warrior will get us through this. No, he won't. Because... My shaman is not healing jack shit. Okay, that was a uh, bit of a screw up. Let's run back. Well, we went, went the right way. We were exactly where we needed to be. It's just that when you make that left into that hallway, you cannot take too many steps forward. Otherwise, you did. And I think my healer got froze up on trying to heal a dead person. Now, I have written the heal macros so that they cancel out any targeting and stuff before they throw their heal down, but it doesn't quite work every time. And sometimes I do get locked up trying to heal a dead person. And uh, the, only, the only way around it is to go to the healer's window and right-click so they don't... They, they get rid of their target and... Um, I did not do that in time. I didn't realize what was going on. Temple of Atal Hakar. It's not Temple of Al Hakar. This is not Dubai. It's Temple of Atal Hakar. Which sounds very Dubai-ish. I mean, if I'm honest, it's close enough that makes no difference. My wife wants to go to Dubai just because... She's getting a bunch of offers to fly to Dubai, super cheap. And why not a cheap vacation in a godforsaken desert? So I'm probably gonna wind up going to Dubai just to see the big building. I do wanna see that big building in real life. It is a once in a lifetime type, type dealio. Used to be that we built the biggest buildings here in my country. No more.
All right, let's do this right. Again, hop down the first railing you come to. You do have to hop to get over it. Don't let your people fall onto the third floor. Hop them if you need to. You can see how my people were getting stuck on railings. This is, you know, just multi-box things. Uh, you always have to watch that your people aren't getting stuck somewhere and don't lose follow. And um, we'll, uh, before we turn the corner, we'll do our buffing. And we'll also put our soul stone on. But I want to get this Hakar win in. And open up the rest of the, the dungeon to... Okay, so before the top step, stop right there. Get those, get those buffs going. You want to hit the buff key F9 one at a time click wait for wait for the the buff watch your mana bars make sure everybody has enough mana to cast the next one and boom we're good we got all of them in in one in one go sometimes you have to sometimes your buffs cost so much mana that you have to sit and drink to finish buffing, and that is the worst. I really do hate that. Um, obviously, when you get to level 60 and you have the um, group buffs, that's not going to happen anymore. But uh, you are going to have to suffer quite a bit through buffing and drinking before then. And before I forget, uh, we need to put that soul stone on our boy because he used his resurrection. He used his reincarnate, so we took a chance. Didn't work out. Did not work out. So we now have less. Um, we should though give healing potions out a little bit more. We do want to have some healing potions passed about so that and mono potions, frankly. So I'm going to put his mana potion out on his bar. Want the important people to have healing potions. Warlock, not so much, although he is, you know, as we specified, he is going to... Okay, she doesn't have Death Wish back yet? Come on, man. Oh, she needs a little rage for Death Wish, doesn't she? There, there's your Death Wish right there. And now the JJ's cone of cold is beginning to attract attention. Nope. If you accidentally trigger a heal on somebody wrong, jump out of it. It's better to jump out of it and stop casts than to heal overheal somebody. Just hit the space bar. Don't overheal. Get used to never overhealing. You you play how you practice, and if you um, if you never overheal in practice, you will never overheal when the time comes. Okay, I had a little lag there. That was multi box lag. Uh, here's Adoran. Is the healer actually falling? Did the rogue get stuck behind the rock? How much more time will I spend drinking? Diary of a Multiboxer. Yes, this is true. This is true. That's exactly what goes on in our heads. I mean, we have to worry about everything, you know, and it's funny when you get back to a situation where you don't have to worry about healing. It just seems like you have nothing to do. So he's like, what the? No healing? What? I don't have to worry about healing? And it feels like, you know, you have all the time in the world and you're like like hitting a hitting a button and it's not even a game anymore. It's just like, oh, this is this is what they expect me to do. Okay, roll eyes, roll eyes. K 
Okay, we look good. We're, we don't have enough mana to pull, but um, we are ready to retry the, what do they call it? The, the not the ghost of Hakkar, the shadow of Hakkar, shade of Hakkar, I don't know. Wow, Blizzard really likes that word shade. Look at all these clowns. Look at all these clowns. I don't think this actually starts the battle anew. I think I have to clear out all these guys and then pop my egg again. <sighs> I'm just going to skin. Oh, you can't skin him. What the hell, man? What kind of cheap-ass game is this? Healing Fury swipes while beating on this guy. Suppressor? What? Okay, then. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. This is a, this is a backdoor method, then. It's the consolation method of doing this fight. Oh, you wiped? Well, we're going to keep the suppressors out there anyway. So you can go ahead and uh, get their blood, extinguish the flames, summon Hakar anyway. And congrats, brah. Although I do think I have... Nope, I only have two flames to, to extinguish. It would be nice if I would kill these suppressors a little faster, though. This one's going to go get the blood. No? No blood? No blood? Oh, what the? It's these? The blood keeper? No wonder I screwed it up. I thought it was the suppressors. Do I have the blood? I have the blood. Use on an eternal flame. I'm trying. I'm trying to use on an eternal flame. Why, why do it not let me? Come here, my bros. Come here, my bros. Okay, I'm trying to use it on Eternal Flame. What's up, man? What's up? Man, Blizzard, what kind of game you got going here? Okay, blood, blood, blood. Use blood. Eternal flame. Oh, it doesn't light up. That's so nice. No. 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 I'm hosed. So we've got to restart the event. Whatever, dude. So it's not the suppressors. It's those big, tall snakes. In my experience, multiboxing is Reagan-esque playing. Trust but verify. Trust that your tunes are doing what they should, but sometimes they choose not to. Yes, um, especially that heal or lockup thing. I mean, I thought I had that beat for a long time, but it still happens once in a while. It's not often, but once in a while, it happens often enough to, you know, keep you on your toes. Cost me a run back just now. There is no doubt in my mind that I would have. Uh, survive that okay so i've got a blood i've got a blood in my in my bags so that's gonna actually save some time maybe and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight back back by these fires and be smart i'm smart i'm gonna fight back by a fire i'm gonna pick up the blood and then just put the fire out right there But I'm not going to pick it up with my druid. Gosh. Because you have to come out of form. <sighs> that part. Man, they really screwed that one up. Very problematic to be a druid. Okay, let's call the dumbass again. over by my boys drop my totems I only drop totems in combat and I'm not in combat yet uh. 
Um, nothing's happening. I sprung my egg, motherfucker. What you want from me? Are you telling me I cannot redo the event without resetting the whole dungeon? Screw you, Blizzard. Screw you, man. Five minute on my egg. All right, let's have this guy cast his egg. Everybody's got an egg. You get an egg. You get an egg. Awaken, you soul flare. I'm just going to stand here and see if snakes pop. This is not looking good, guys. Not cool, bro. Not cool. All right, well, there is an easy solution. That is to log this guy out. The more you run a dungeon, the faster it will get. And, I mean, the amount of speed you get just by repetitively running a dungeon is just astounding, especially in multiboxing. Um, the dungeon that took you all day long to run suddenly takes 10 minutes 15 minutes in the end, um, just because you know where to go and what to do. All right, let's log that guy in. Uninvite her. This is the trick to reset an instance and teleport to the beginning of the instance. Log one of you guys out. Make Invite that guy. Make him the leader. You are now leader, sucker. Log everybody else out. That window often crashes in this case. It doesn't matter. Just gonna get it running again. Your control alt M away from having that window pop again. One of the small benefits of five minute mother box. <sighs> the fact that you knew that Reagan-esque joke, that you went there. Reset all instances makes me think you're a little bit closer to my generation. Log everybody in. make your original leader the leader again. Log out. Get rid of him, because he's useless. Get your other guy in. And get started, baby. And now, I mean, I know the shortcut to get to the Hakkar uh, event, so it's gonna be a lot faster than before. Um, just hit the zero button to log her in again. You're going to go right up the ramp. I'm not as young as I used to be. Oh my gosh, I'm getting calls from work. No, I'm not answering phone calls from work at this time of night. No chance, bro. Okay, let's do our self buff. The first buff when you hit F9 is your self buff, so you're safe to hit F9 at any time and just do your self buff. Um, taunt the big guys. Don't bother with the, the wormkins. And protect your... Um, don't bother with the whelps, I should say. And protect your your mage who's casting Cone of Cold to great effect. When I say taunt, I'm assuming you have the mouse over taunt just like I do. 
and Mutalia is gonna die. Woo! That was a that was a close one, Mutalia. Let's punch him. Okay. Very good, boys. Very good. You guys did awesome there. Not quite ready for that. Did not did not do it super clean, but clean enough for government work. And skin all those dragons. Stop skinning, Fury Swipes, man. You're slowing the stream down. You guys got nowhere to be. You're wow nerds. You'll be here all night. Don't push me, Fury Swipes. I could log off anytime I wanted. You ain't gonna log off. You wanna see me get this car for the first time ever. This will be a world first. Fury Swipes. Exclusive. Fury Swipes. Shift one is my pull spell. And I'm gonna hold the alt key down. I'm gonna hold alt three down so I swipe, but nobody DPSs. And when I see that demoralizing shout get thrown at everybody, I'm gonna go to the five button. And that is a great way to get initial aggro and keep it most of the way. And notice there's a nightmare wanderer who's misbehaving, trying to hit somebody else. I'm just gonna put my mouse over it, keep hitting the five button all the way. There's another Nightmare Wanderers hitting the JJ, my mage, and we don't want that happening, do we? Mage is not allowed to get hit, so. Now, the Warlock often takes damage in, um, in AOE, the five key but often he takes damage even when he's not getting hit. And that's because he does life tap once in a while. So your warlock should be set up the same way so they never run out of mana, but you do have to throw them a heal once in a while. Okay, we are going right here. And we've got a very nasty fight in front of us. I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to drink first. We're just going to do this fight and nothing else. We're going to try the same thing. We're going to try and cheap one of these guys. And hopefully the other guys um, come over here. And that guy stays sheeped good and long. 30 seconds. And he resisted. <laughs> well, no battle survives the first shot. No battle plan survives the first shot. So there we are. There's our battle plan not surviving the first shot. But I am going to keep my mouse taunting. And I'm actually selecting targets with my mouse, which, you know, I don't usually do, but I'm doing it more and more. Since I'm since my mouse is sitting there, you know, trying to um, taunt people, that might as well select targets with it, right? Ooh, that was a good pull. That was a good pull and a good fight. That is exactly how it should look. It was not sloppy. I was doing my best taunting. It's just that is a really hard pull. You've got to, what's up, Patrick? you got to um, got to have your shit together on that pull. These pulls are actually pretty dangerous. And usually uh, a sleep by a druid will make them, you know, 20% easier. But he, you saw he resisted my, he resisted my sleep like a boss. 
like a boss. All right, I'm gonna stand up with control four just so that I can go down and then hit alt two so me and the warrior charge that mofo. Just love doing that, especially against enemy players. Interrupt that mono burn. Nope, somebody got burned. Okay, so I have something straight in my head this time that I didn't have before, and that is, um, it's not the suppressors who have the blood. It's the big snaky-like things. It's the big versions of these things that have the blood. Whoa, blow me back, why don't you? Well, you blow me down. Give me that skin. Thick leather, baby. It's beautiful. The thing that makes that work, though, it doesn't work automatically. Um, the thing that makes that work is you hit Alt-1 once so that your warrior is also targeting your target. Now, when you're doing Alt-2, like what you would do to charge, uh, it doesn't make anybody assist you. So you have to have your warrior assist you if she's going to charge. So what I do is I just stand up, hit Alt-1, make sure my warrior assist, then I hit Alt-2, and we both charge. It's evolving, all right? It's evolving. This is all kind of new technology to me. I never usually did any of this stuff because I never really ran five mans in vanilla. I would only run 40, run 40 mans. And when you're running 40 mans, charging is not something you do, okay? It's just not something that's necessary. But charging helps a lot when you're running around in a five man. So let's heal up one time. Get everybody good. And then we're gonna drink. And then we're gonna pull. We're gonna actually redo our buffs. We're gonna pull. We have 11 minutes on our soul stone. We're going to redo our personal buffs and we're gonna drink. Shift five. I put my I put my drinks in shift five. You can put yours anywhere you want. This is one of those things that isn't set in stone. However, you may want to do what I do because when you go to Vanilla WoW, everything is set in stone. Your drinking is shift five. Uh, your summon water is um, equal sign. But I generally follow my Vanilla Doctrine why is this guy not drinking on, sh on shift five? Or is he? He just has so much mana. He does have a lot of mana, but not as much as the other mana users. No, never mind. It's bullshit, man. Okay, we're gonna stay back here by the by the thing, by the first fire. I'm gonna call the stupid event. And we're just going to wait back there. We're going to wait back there for people to come. Oh, yeah. What you going to do? What you going to do? Death Wish is up. I'm going to go ahead and AoE taunt. Don't need to, really. Get our dead DPS doing nothing. And is that one of the guys? Yep, that's one of the guys. Let's go get him. Oh, our look at that. Our warlock pet did a great job for us. I don't want our warlock pet to die. No! Funnel. Funnel that bitch. Health funnel. Health funnel. Yeah! Oh, she died anyway. Oh, god dang it. I gotta. That's. I was gonna say, let's. Uh, let's interrupt pull that guy. I'm gonna have everybody focus on him and just silence him. So he. 
comes over to us. There we go. That's that's your interrupt pull right there. <sighs> this is not super pro right now. Let me kill these snakes first. Actually, you know what? I do have blood in my bag, right? Nope, the blood evaporated. I don't have blood in my bag anymore. So you can't keep blood from a previous fight. Oh, pro tip. Pro tip. Okay, so here's the thing about the suppressors. If you let four of those suppressors get in, you lose. And we are doing badly. I'm going to drop my... Okay, you, you go loot. You got the blood. You put that shit out. Okay, one flame out. We're gonna go kill a suppressor though. So we're gonna go to the diagonally opposite. Okay, don't think suppressors actually have um, blood, but we're gonna check anyway. Summoning my succubus. So one suppressor dead, we just have to make sure that we uh, don't let four suppressors get up. Okay, go check for blood, stupid. No, no blood on that guy. Okay, so we have this guy. We're going to do a counter spell pull. Didn't work. Spirited is getting hammered. Going to heal Spirited with a mana potion. And get this blood keeper. The JJ is going to take a healing potion. And these guys are hammering my, my bro. Okay, so we do have blood on the ground. Blood gotten. We're going to run over here. I'm going to grab this suppressor while we do it. This guy's going to do, go do his blood. Yeah, that's three of four, right? No, that's... Is that three of four? Okay, I'm gonna do my... I'm doing my druid shit. Let's kill the suppressor, though. We are out of juice. So we gotta get creative now. Like, I'm taking a potion. Utali is taking a potion. This fight is minutes long, so you have time to take multiple potions. Can we drink? No, we can't drink. Try drinking, didn't work. That's pressure on me. Heal Mutalia. Heal myself, spirited. And that's looking really good. Okay, we got our fourth blood out now. Gotta go pick it up though. <sighs> pick it up soon. I'm actually going to back out of here a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the uh, the Warlock pet again to pick up the fourth blood. 
and then we hit Alt-1 to make her come back. And actually the fourth blood's over there, so it's a shame that I'm sitting here where I'm at. And my stupid shaman still has no freaking... Okay, he just drank a potion, so I'm going. My warrior, notice my warrior charged away. Okay, so let's finish this guy off. How are we going to kill the boss when we've exhausted ourselves on these things? Spirited, heal yourself one time. 30 seconds. Ooh, I've got another potion. Yes, I do think, I do believe I, I will. Pick up that blood, go over to that fire. All fires extinguished. No, we cannot allow you to summon a car. Wait a minute, that's not, that's not the all fires extinguished message. I am near. I'm near. He's near. I hope he's not that near. Oh, we've got another uh, monotide. Whoa. Suppressor. Do we have to kill the last suppressor for this to start? I think I put out... Oh, shit. There's another fire. Oh, geez. No. Heavens help us. Heavens help us. Another fire. Really? This is just ridiculous. But there's our boy. Forty-five seconds. I do have <sighs> Frenzied Regen. Frenzied Regen is not that great. This one can take another healing potion. I just, the snakes need to die faster. Okay, this is a heal that's coming into me. We need to heal into Motalia fast. Woo! Motalia's got a corruption on her. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to pick up Motalia. I just can't not have Motalia. It. And of course I die. Don't think we can finish this now. Ah, uh, so close. So close to wiping in a little while, which is pretty much what we were going to do. And here's why you can't actually reincarnate on this battle. Because when you wipe, everybody hangs out. Thanks, brah. So, that's the car. And now you have to reset the instance. Because you can't do it again. And try again. And then you have to think about, okay, what could I have done better? What could I do differently? And now you're looking at your your potions, you know, they're this one doesn't only has one potion left, this one only has zero potions left. This one has two potions, but no mana left. Um, man, that is a rough one. That's a rough one. It reminds me a lot of... Oh, where am I running to? We're in the wrong direction. It reminds me a lot of that escort battle at the end of Razor Fen Downs. You know the one I'm talking about? You have to escort that guy to like the stove or the forge and then these waves attack you. I did that at the right level. 
and I still got overwhelmed by waves at the end. And I was doing my best to be efficient. And at the end, we were out of everything. Are casters using wands? No, casters are not using wands. <laughs> casters are not using wands. I, I guess I guess maybe they'll use a wand if they if they circle the drain. But no. I've I've tried to make wands work. I've tried to make them happen. I'm not sure if they're if wands are ever really gonna be anything that swings a battle. I mean, those snakes are serious business. They spawn a lot of them, and we just have to burn them down fast. You know what I'm not doing, and what I should do is... Those snakes probably have poison, right? So I should always have a poison totem down. And that's, not, that's something I'm not doing. So we can do that part better. Poison totem down. Um... What else? Drinking. I mean, there were a few moments there when we cleared everything that we could drink. So maybe we should focus on clearing everything and then drinking. Because that's a major benefit. That's a benefit beyond benefits. Um, I've got nine water left on him. Six water left on him. Four left on him. Probably should summon some more water. Yes, you get mana regen when using wands. This is true. But is it enough? Is it enough? It's not like I can go into wand mode. I don't have that set up. And maybe I should have that set up. Maybe I should just have a button that says, casters use wand when you press this button. That could be something I could do, I suppose. It's just changing which action bar you're on, you know? Okay, don't go up to past the top step. So you can have a second action bar, just like hunters do. Hunters have a second action bar for ranged in five minute multi boxing. I suppose mages could have a second action bar for wands. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting idea. And then when the mages are in wand mode, they're regening mana, pulling less aggro. Let me give out some water here. Till the click trade. Till the click trade. <sighs> that is an interesting idea. Let's buff up. I'm actually going to drink. Get it? I'm drinking. Buff, buff, buff. Oh, I did not get that last one in. So I've got to drink till I get it in. So I did lose that soul stone and I am not ready for another soul stone. I am ready for another soul stone. Fine. I'll do it. But JJ, why aren't you drinking? Do we have any mana potions anywhere? Aha! Mana potions. That's a difference maker right there, baby. Four mana potions. Nobody else. But JJ, you drinking, buddy? She's drinking. Let's 
get this scale vein taunted. Uh oh, VJJ. Don't die, VJJ. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a fast one, baby. That was a fast one. Oh, now they want Battlefield. You should probably heal the JJ. I just mouse click. Um, I don't have a, a click button assigned to Ice Block. I just mouse click it. I know where it is on, on her bar. So I just reach up and get it when the time is right. Okay, we're not skinny right now. I want to get this. I want to get this fight done. So no skinning. One heal. All three is being held down, which means nobody's really DPSing. And now I let all three go, and everybody's confused. They're like, wait a minute, somebody just hit me with a 700 point cone of cold. Should I be, should I be swinging at them? Yes, you should be. Whoa, that was rough. Not enough heals were ready at that point, so. Spirited, don't die. We have no reserve. Oh, man. Oh, we do have a Rezzer in the battlefield. If you can survive that long, Utalia. Oh, Utalia can't survive that long. Eh. Fear, fear, fear. Fear, 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 fear. Fear, 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 fear. Well, I mean, I might as well use the Soul Stone. It's not going to get used for anything else. Okay, note to self. Don't do the six pulls unless you're fully buffed and ready when you're level 51. Ancestral spirit. Soul Stone saved a run back. I should have a reincarnate um, by the time I do the next pull. And we do need to distribute healing potions a bit. Retaliate needs another one, for example. So we are going to do that. This guy. Give Mutalia that. I mean, she has two of those smaller healing potions. That's fine. I have a feeling this battle, I'm making it harder than it really is, as I, as I do all the time for battles that I've done for the first time. Um, I have a feeling that there are there is a way I can play this that makes it much easier. Maybe even get me out of um, combat, drink, and just turn it into a marathon. So let's try that this time. We're going to get out of combat. We're going to drink. We're going to see what the constraints are for drinking. Because, I mean, sure, we did the summon. And things come, right? But they don't come and necessarily attack you. So does that mean you're out of combat? I think it does. I think it does. And I'm going to use that. Uh -huh. <sighs> 
can you use that but good? And so now you have an idea of my process. I have a process, damn it. Man, we got to start actually farming shards again pretty soon. Well, I'll farm shards on these two guys and try and catch up a little bit on all the shards I've lost. Done. Drinking all the way, man. It's just how it goes. I'm actually going to taunt that guy over there. I have my mouse over him, so I do taunt him in case he gets off me in favor of the healer I'm about to uh, get a heal from. It's surprising when you're playing, when you're multiboxing and playing Vanilla WoW, how little damage Cleave and Whirlwind and Swipe do to the side mobs. It's ridiculously poor. And um, this continues into several expansions. Side damage to side mobs is notoriously ineffective. And it's very unfortunate um, a lot of the time that, that that is the case. A lot of the time you'll find yourself in a lot of situations where hitting the two key, even with multiple mobs, is the right way to go. And you know what? This battle that we're trying to do right now, it might be the same thing. It just might be the same thing. Let's sleep that guy. Ooh, he slept. Make everybody target that guy. And we are going to single target him. And the guy who was asleep just woke right back up. And I'm just going to taunt anybody who's not on me. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep hitting the two key and just going to keep taunting until things die. See that Nightmare Wormkin turned red? I'm using um, uh, threat plates, by the way. It's not as glamorous to just single target, but it works. And it's very, very efficient. Mana wise. Look at Vijayj. Vijayj is not even half mana through this whole two minute and a half, two minute fight. So that means we can pull this single pull right here without drinking. Famous last words. Any questions? You guys don't talk enough. I need I need interaction so that I can say more stuff because I run out of stuff to say. So eventually uh, I'm just sitting not saying anything. Man, I love that charge in. I really do. It's just so satisfying, especially when the sound's on because the charge sounds are great.
Okay, so we're going to start the fight actually the same place we started because it seems further away. So we're going to start the fight as far away as we can and we're going to try and like get out of combat or stay out of combat or do something about combat. Something. And I wonder if we can fight over here and line of sight pull the blood thingers. I'm going to actually try this. Because, you know, if you don't try it, you don't know if it's going to work. But I am going to try it. 19 minutes on Soul Stone. And we have Reincarnate up. Battlefield? What the hell is your problem? Why do you drink so slow? doors <laughs> damn you damn you blizzard you've thought of everything and there's a blood guy right up there Somehow I think we are wasting our time right now because the door is down. So yeah, we got we got some pulls, but your imp doesn't use any skills other than attack. What do you have their skills turned on? They've got to be here. Let me switch to my warlock. Okay, this is my warlock screen, right? Their skills got to be you know lit up. Like this. You have to right click on them so that they're glowy. Then they'll use them all the time. So make sure you, your skills are glowy. Okay, we're going to reset. Not before skinning, though. Can't skin that? Can skin it. Can skin it. Log out, Mutalia. Our armor's getting kind of damaged. Oh, wait, no, that's just his. That dude dies all the time. Lemma. Get in and do your thing. Oh, man. This is hard. And we can't log out right now because we're in combat, right? Slamma, Slamma goes. I bet we can't log out because we're in combat. I'm just gonna kill all the windows. We log in. There we go. We got a question on the boards. Why'd you get into multi boxing? I was bored. I mean, for about two years. I didn't play any video games at all 
and this was this was starting about five years ago. For about two years, I didn't play any video games at all, and I had just bought a really nice. Actually, the computer I'm I'm on right now, I had just bought for reasons I couldn't justify a really nice um, high power gaming computer, and after buying it. Um, I did nothing with it for two years. I did nothing with it, and it, I felt really guilty about it. And um, so, about two years into that, I'm like looking at this PC over in the corner, thinking, "Oh my gosh, there's got to be something I can do with this." And all that. Well, maybe. Where am I at? I'm still here. Let's see if we can log out. Okay, he crashed again. I guess that crash happens every time. Oh, I can log out. Maybe I can... I multiboxed about eight years ago. Maybe I can multibox again and really do something with it this time. Um, I seem to remember I was kind of good at writing that Lua code and I never really tried being really clever with the Lua code in multiboxing. In the multiboxing I used to do, I would just have five hunters or five shaman or something retarded like that and just put the same um, skill on the bar for every one of them. And it was really stupid. And then I would have a button that says, follow the leader, you know, and uh, very, very rudimentary. And these guys did not. Hey, <laughs> don't look now. <laughs> but the door's open. <laughs> but I have blood in my bag, right? I have blood in my bag. And the braziers are not lit as action items. So the event is over for me and I'm just kind of screwing this up every time. So let's try this one more time. We're gonna log out. He's gonna crash. So I thought to myself, all right, I'm gonna try this multi-boxing thing and I'm gonna really make a go of it. And so I, what did I do? I logged in five hunters. And so I, I logged in five hunters and um, turned them into 10 hunters and um, then realized I needed a tank because it just wasn't working very well without a tank. And although the hunters were getting smarter and smarter, um, I knew that I could run a tank with the hunters. And then I realized after I ran a tank with the hunters that I needed a healer and it just fireballed into um you know what i think i can kill a raid boss i think i can do that and i'm now good enough with the code that yeah i think this is gonna work and so for about a month i tried to kill a raid boss the snake boss in zg because i had 20 i had 20 tunes all leveled up and I really didn't know for sure it was possible in my heart. I really didn't know I was going to be able to get it. And I just kept trying and trying. And I kept changing little things, kept getting closer and closer. I would search. And here's one of the things. This is one of the things that shaped the next few years for me. I would search on the internet, all right, for... Why did I log him out? He doesn't need to log out. I would search on the internet for um, strategies that me, a multi-boxer, could use, and I wouldn't find anything. There's nothing. There, there were old strategies, but they didn't really take... They weren't written, obviously, from a multi-boxer's perspective. And I logged out again. I'm talking to you guys too much. They weren't really written from a multi-boxer's perspective. So I had to kind of make it up as I went along and 
create my own strategies. And so the strategy that I created for um, the snake boss, Vinoxus in ZG, was eventually turned into um, just AOE down the snakes. And then focus on Vinoxus. And of course, I had to learn the other lessons of Vinoxus um, on the way there. I.e., you don't gather in around him, otherwise he blows you away. So, eventually one day in February of 2016, it was a Sunday morning, I tried one more time, and everything went perfect. I backed up against the wall, I burned down the snakes, they all fall, they all fell. I, I, my heels were working well and um, nobody ran out of mana. And just before my tank died, actually my tank did die, just before the boss died, my tank died, but my stack had enough left to finish off the boss. And that was my first raid kill. And for about three days, this is so stupid. It's such a video game nerd stupid thing. Well, I ran the wrong way, actually. For about three days, I was on top of the world. I really was. I, here, here I am. What was I? I was like a, a 49-year-old man playing pixel games. And I'm thinking I'm the biggest hotshot in the world. For about three days, I was just like fist pumping, high-fiving everyone, getting laid a lot, you know, all the girls wanted me. And um, I had killed a raid boss. And of course, I didn't know about other people, other multiboxers and how all this had been done before and everything. I was working in my own little world, all right? And... I was really, I was really happy with it. I was impressed with myself. And it kind of evolved into, maybe I can do another boss. Maybe I can do another boss. And boss after boss started falling down. And, um, oh, I saw my buffs on me. That's, that's funny. This is nothing but whelps. I'll take these whelps on. There was no big guys in this pull. That's a easiest six pull ever. So the bosses started falling. And I started getting more and more gear. I mean, really good gear. A lot of people don't realize that the ZG gear is, is a higher tier than Molten Core in a lot of cases. Um, it's certainly more quality gear from an itemization perspective uh, for most classes than Molten Core. And I didn't know it, but I was gearing up really badass. I was getting all this ZG gear on every single tune because you just, you get tokens, right? And you change those tokens in for gear sets. And that's what I was doing. And I didn't know, but I was getting, I was putting together a raid that was supremely badass and perfectly ready for Molten Core when I realized that I could do that. So as time went on and I started killing Molten Core bosses and I had a rate of 40, I realized, well, it was even before I got to Molten Core, I, I said to myself, I really want other people to be able to do this. I really don't want to just do this for myself. I want to I wanna teach other people how to do what I'm doing because I'm having so much fun. It's so... It's so satisfying that I want to do this too. And so that's when it turned into me just kind of handing out my um, scripts. And um, nobody could use them. I mean, they were just a mess. Okay, they were all names hard-coded and everything. Anybody who would try to use them um, would would really need to be dedicated and have to learn Lua and and basically and then one guy 
tried. His name was Valatorin. He was this guy. And he decided that he would try to learn how to do what I'm doing and, and you know, see how my shit worked. And, you know, he hard-coded all the things that I was hard-coding and all that. And he just got into it. And, um, you know, he actually got pretty damn good at it. He was doing and was trying shit that I wouldn't try. So, um, he didn't have the, at the time, he didn't have the code authoring skills that he needed to really kind of build on everything but um, he had the dedication and, and he definitely, his, his trying to use my stuff definitely helped me move my stuff along. And he's now the moderator on my Discord. He's a really nice guy from Scotland. Um, but that's when I realized I couldn't just give people the mess that I was giving them. I needed to, to productize this and turn it into something that um, anybody could walk up and use in five minutes. And I wanted people to be able to do it in five minutes because I could do it in five minutes. You know, I could take my stuff, take a whole new set of tunes, boom, be up and running in five minutes. And I know it's possible, all right? It was possible for me. And, and I, I thought to myself, I'm not going to be happy until I get everybody who tries this running in five minutes and that's where the name five minute multiboxing came from and my my buddy valatorin he uh he got the uh he, he got the domain name five minute multiboxing for me that was hilarious and you know the rest i don't want to say the rest is history because there ain't much history here but the rest is history Tally, you're taking it hard, buddy. Ooh. Just saved her. Everybody's turned around wrong. This is a hard pull, man. This is a hard pull. I'm calling hard pull on this. But we haven't wiped on it yet. I was wiping on this in the beginning. I mean, level 50 when I first got in here. It was, it was that hard. Oh, you know what I've been doing? I've been skinning while talking to you guys. So I was just doing that without even thinking about it because I want my money. There's actually not much money in it, but... Every little bit helps when you've got to come up with uh, 5,000 gold to get your epic mounts. And that's, you know, that's the other thing. When I first got into multiboxing on vanilla gaming, I had 40 tunes and it was easy to make enough gold to get all 40 tunes epic mounts. Yes, I made 50,000 gold in two months just selling bijus on the auction house. Because Vanilla Gaming had a bit of a population at that time, and they wouldn't stop buying Bijus. They bought Bijus, you know, right up until basically the server got abandoned. And now it's kind of a dead server. Nobody really plays on it anymore, except my multiboxing friends and a few others. But, um, yeah. It was still kind of going in those days. It is the longest lived um vanilla server in all of private servers nobody has a longer lived server going they've been around for 10 years now and it is the server i played back in 2010 when i first multiboxed those hunters that i started with in 2016 were the hunters that i leveled in 2010 um, when I was first multiboxing, so I have a long history with vanilla gaming and um, can attest to its longevity. <sighs> Next question, please. See how much see how much time you got out of that one? That was that was a good amount of time. 
All right, so you do have to be on the inside of the doors here. So I'm Italia. Taunt you, bitch. Okay, we should probably rebuff because I got seven minutes on my Mark of the Wild and this battle lasts a lot longer than seven minutes. So we are definitely going to fully rebuff. <sighs> Drink. Drink! All right, so the question is where should I go on my anniversary vacation? I've got a month off to tour the world and... I need to know where I'm going to go for to take my wife on her 35th wedding anniversary. Now, this happens in February, but we don't have to go in February. We can go in the summer, we can go in the spring, whatever. Um, we can go whenever we want, but we're going to go. Let's heal up. Always do that, man. I hit F1 just because Battlefield was listed first. That ain't how it works. Um, buff. 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 And you know what? My guy ran out of juice, didn't he? Yes, he did. He ran out of juice too early. So we're thinking... What we're thinking is um, St. Petersburg. All right, we'll go right from Croatia up through fuzzy, don't know, Poland to St. Petersburg and um, visit everything in between, right? And maybe go down to Moscow from St. Petersburg for a little while and come back to St. Pete. I'm partial to Hawaii, but Fiji or Mediterranean Malta is also super nice. Ooh. Ooh, it sounds really good. Mediterranean Malta. That's interesting that you say that. I mean, Monique probably wouldn't turn it down. She has kind of got her heart set on... Eastern Europe, I think. All right, guys, let's get serious now. No more vacation talk. Let's take a vacation inside of Hakar Skeleton. We're operating super efficient here. We're only killing the things that are just directly in front of us. And we only have to interrupt those guys that, um, uh oh, I got a successful counter spell pull. Let's get him back to the sides here so we don't have to, oh shit, so that we don't have to fight anything else. And fuck, I let fucking Mutalia. Spirited. I'm going to call Death Wish. Okay, come on back here, guys. Let's gather up again. That was sloppy as hell. That is disappointing. Let me just heal everybody up. I'm going to put the blood on this fire. Okay, we're going to actually run over here and pretend we're not in combat anymore. Because we're not, actually. We're going to drink. Somebody's, somebody got to drink. So that shit's working, man. So we're just going to melee this guy while we let our drinkers drink. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay, okay, this could happen. Let's go whack this guy. Interrupt that suppressor. Which is not up yet. And I need some indicator as to when Death Wish is up. You know who one of my guys on my server gave me this raid add-on, pointing out this raid add-on. Ooh, I just got a healing potion. That's gonna be a good thing. Ooh, I'm drinking. I'm forgetting the plan here, man. Look at my guys, man. Their bars are full. Okay, so we got to um, do the whole... now call a bloodthirst but I'm not going to because we're looking really good right now okay bro get that shit whoa there it is I lost it for a second deuced drink everybody can drink we just gotta run over to that guy interrupt him shit why did I ever think this was hard this fight ain't hard Dude, uh, on, on the Hawaii-Fiji thing, I grew up in Hawaii. So this guy's like, oh man, you must not summon our god. Nope, you're not actually going to get over to do your job, brah. So I do love Hawaii, don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore it. But Monique, not so much. I mean, she's, ha she's all Hawaii'd out. She wants something better than that for her 35th anniversary. Because uh, we did live back in Hawaii um, when we were adults. We lived there for a year, so. We had a, out of combat? Oh, guess who's going to drink? Guess who's going to drink? Guess who's drinking? This battle's so easy. You're stupid if you can't do it fast. Guess who's going to do their self-buff again? Us, that's who. Get back here, Mutalia. What the fuck are you doing, man? Mutalia always trying to be the heroine. Heroine. The heroine. <laughs> I think heroine is just like the weirdest word. It's trying to be the heroine. Yeah. Don't do heroine, kids. Someone's unspirited, it's that guy. It's the blood keeper who's unspirited, so I'm going to him, but immediately coming back to dead DPS does nothing. Speaking of dead DPS does nothing, let's finish off this snake. And blood letter. You are just about dead. I'm gonna be standing on your I'm gonna be dancing on your grave. Dancing on your grave. Five. Shift five. Everybody drink. We're gonna go melee these puppies. Let our drinkers drink. We got plenty of time to um, do this shit. I'm actually gonna mouse click this so our drinkers don't stop drinking. Look at that, look at that. Drinkers up to full. And we're gonna run over to this fire real quick. Oh, let's heal Mutalia. We're out of combat again. 
drinking. Drink, drink. He didn't get to drink. The healer didn't get to drink. That's too bad. Get the suppressor. Remember, if four suppressors get on Hakar, the event is over. You lose. Hakar, like, comes back from, you know, the shadow world, and he will smoke you. That's not what happens. They banish Hakar again and he goes away. That's what it is. These guys are trying to suppress Hakar. Okay, we need this guy right here. We're going to send the uh, the Warlock pet after him. Bring her on back, baby. She's going to die a good soldier. She died a good soldier. I want Bloodthirst. Calling Bloodthirst for this one. Yeah, and she's got the bloodthirst out. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay, this is about being efficient, and um, I'm not because I'm letting him beat on spirited when I should not be. I made spirit, spirited, um, has not drunk. You know what? He hasn't even laid down his. Okay, we got the blood. We're gonna wait before we turn in that blood. We are gonna wait before we turn that blood because we're gonna get a good drink on. We're gonna get a good drink on, and then we're gonna turn in that blood. And this is the final fight right here. And we're going to summon our pet again. Yeah, baby. Summon a pet again. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Drink again. Why not? Got time. Total time. I'm gonna do the little swipe thing. Have Mutali start swinging. Whoa, 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 whoa! Tell where the fuck are you going, man? Okay. Uh, let's actually finish this fight off first. Cause that actually little little more damage than I wanted to take there. Mutali is healed. We have doused all the flames. And now we have this thing going on, which I've not done yet. Avatar of Hakar. Turbo. Healing Fury Swipes, Healing Lutalia, Healing Fury Swipes. Healing Retaliate. I don't know why it keeps saying I'm in shapeshift form. Oh shit. Dude, that guy was so tank and spank. Did you see that shit, man? Did you see it? Now I gotta clip this video out to show how to do the boss properly. Oh yes. What did he drop? Warriors embrace plate chance to die. Oh, that's not great, dude. That is not great. We do not want that. Wind scale sarong. That is great. That is great. Uh, 10 intellect, 24 spirit, 126 armor, 136 armor. I'm going for that for my healer. Wind scale sabong, buddy. And everybody needs to loot the body and complete the quest. Count your essences of Hakar. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. 
Now, I'm afraid we might be doing this just a little early because phase four, I think the rewards get much better. But where do we got to turn it in? <laughs> the God Hakar feel. Oh, we're supposed to fill our egg now. Ooh, I'm filling my egg. Thanks, man. Um, kind of. If you go to my Discord, we do have a section for bosses, but I haven't been very, I haven't been very um faithful in in filling it out. I do put the boss kills that I've done in the dungeon channels, not so much in the um, not so much in the the boss channels. I only made about four boss channels before I was like, eh, I haven't killed any bosses yet. Am I ever gonna? No, I was just like really focused on just making the out on work. And the amount of development that went into the, um, I wonder if that guy's skinnable. Let's go skin him. The amount of development that went into the classic add-on in the short amount of time that we did it um, was way more than uh, anything I've ever done. The classic add-on was very hard. It was very, very hard. And, you know, we just went for it. We. Got a mouse in my pocket. There's a couple of guys who really contributed, though. Um, they didn't know they were going to contribute, but, uh, you know, they just came up with ideas while it was happening and, th and thought, you know, as they understood it, wow, that guy hits hard. Shit. They came up with amazing ideas that made shitty parts of the five-minute multiboxing work much, much better. Ooh. Oh, we're back to the center. I want to go turn in my quest. The God Hakar. Why do I not have a filled egg of Hakar? What do I got to do? Where's, none of us have filled egg of Hakar. What are we What are we looking for here? What are we looking for? We want the essence. Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, is this it? No. I'm going to show you uh, some something I have in 5-Minute Moldy Box and then nobody else has, and that's this. Find... Hakar. I wrote that. Egg of Hakar, essence of Hakar. So I have essence of Hakar in bag three, slot 10. Zero, one, two, three, slot 10. Right there. Use. So we were pressing the wrong thing. We need to press a thing that looks like the warlock underwater breathing spell. Now we have to go to who? Bring the field, oh, to Tanneris. Okay, I'm not actually gonna do any more bosses here, guys. I'm just gonna immediately port to uh, Tanneris and we're gonna turn this quest in because I really wanna turn this in. This is like the biggest quest. This is the biggest quest I've done so far in my classic multiboxing and I want to do it. I want to, I want to, why did I, why did I say Undercity? Oh my gosh, freaking Fury Swipes. Got to quit saying my real name. Fury Swipes. Why did you do that, Fury Swipes? Use your stage name. Getting a little bit of multi box lag. That was a bit of multi box lag, which I don't usually get. Other people do, though. <laughs> multi box lag is for other people, not for me.
Now, if you're watching this video and you play classic, I would really like it if some people join me on Arcanite Reaper in the U.S. and um, joined my guild and, and made it feel like it had more members in it. Um, I did have one guy in it, but he kind of quit, I think. Um, I never talk, first of all, in my guild because I would have to turn off multiboxing to talk. But... Um, if something's going on in the guild, you know, interesting enough, of course I would talk. But uh, normally, I just want to see other people talking. I want to see a lot of guildies living their lives that I can generally ignore, but, you know, ignore but not ignore. And, yeah, that's what I want. Um, and I would love a bunch of, you know multi-boxers here on Arcanite Reaper who are running around that we could all share resources with and stuff like that. You guys send me gold every day. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. But um, it would be cool if there were more people here. Oh, Friday night. It's Thursday night here. Friday morning tomorrow. I think I'm going into work tomorrow. Discord is considered guild chat. Yeah, but nobody's saying anything in Discord either. Oh, honey said something. <laughs> All right, just more complaining that Roger was made a GM. Um, I understand. I understand their feelings. Um, but really, nobody's really playing on Multibox WoW right now, and um, I don't know. If Roger messes it up, then he's not going to be a GM anymore. It's not a big deal, guys. Just, gosh, don't make too big a deal out of it. It is a private server that maybe three or four people play on right now. Um, it's more like a board game than a real server. Um, but do... You know, if, you, if you're interested in, in trying Vanilla WoW out, my server, you can find out about it on the Discord server. Jump on the Discord server, find, go to Multibox WoW Questions. It'll show you, it'll tell you how to log on. And give it a shot. You can get an instant level 60 when you log in and create a... You have to ask me for accounts. All right, that's one thing. You have to ask me for accounts or... You have to ask Roger for accounts or 420. Um, actually, I don't think any of them can do it. Only I can give you accounts. So you have to ask me for accounts, but I, you send me a, a message and I'll give you 40 accounts. You don't have to use all 40, but I'll give you 40 accounts um, that you can use to multibox up to 40 people. Simple as that. Um, you don't need to use them all at once, but... Uh, Anyways, what's awesome, Valatorin? Is awesome people are complaining about Roger being a GM. Um, anyways, um, there's Valatorin. He's on the chat now. I was talking about him before. That's the, uh, that's the guy that I was telling you about. Anyhow, um, yeah, I think it's going to be okay. I think... I think for Roger being a GM is it's going to be something short of the disaster you guys think it is. So let's see let's see how it goes. Right now he can't even use any GM abilities, and I couldn't figure out why he couldn't use his GM abilities. So I just you know Roger, if you're watching, I I'll check it out later. I don't know. I mean I don't know why it's not working for you. Um, this happened to me a lot, by the way, in the beginning, um, and Chaos just fixed it. Chaos was the guy who set up my server, and he just fixed it all for me. So I don't really have that much skill in uh, maintaining servers. It's going to be up. That's about all I can tell you. And 420, he is a real GM, and I think he has a lot of abilities that work. So if Roger doesn't help you, 420 can. So just ask on the Discord server if you need multi-box WoW support, and one of us will... One of us will 
will be there. But you know what? The 7700K computer is working really well with the uh, power supply transfer. It was actually a high quality power supply that I had in the third computer, as opposed to the really crappy power supply that I used for the 7700K. So it's working well and good. I mean, I have no reason to believe that that is in fact, I'm probably going to turn it up to 5 gigahertz again because I refreshed the, the solder paste on it. And it should be able to run at 5G, no problem now. So I think part of it was um, power supply going out, maybe voltage dropping a little bit. And part of it was um, the solder paste kind of wicked away from the center of the die. And so it just wasn't running as well at five gigahertz and I turned it back down to stock, but I think I'm gonna turn it back up to five gigahertz again, maybe. But I mean, why fix it if it ain't broke? I'm not really using it to multi-box right now. I'm five boxing, I'm using my 6700, sixth generation processor. We're on the 10th generation now, in case you didn't know. And um, it's working fine. I'm, I'm pff, My main window right now, I don't know if you noticed, has its settings at max. So my main window is maxed right now. And I mean, the frame rate's fine while streaming. Um, no complaints. Let's hear it for Edward the First. Oh, I, remind me to. Um, What's up, Kane? How are you doing? He's saying, oh, hi to Valatorin. But um, remind me to repair. Um, I'm trying to think if I ever did this quest in real life. <laughs> Hope it was all bad things you were saying. No, actually, you know what? I was telling them about how it all started out. Somebody asked me how I got started in multiboxing and... I was telling him that you were the guy that took my first messed up super macro scripts bullshit all hard coded and tried to do something with it. And so, yeah, I think you were the only guy, by the way, not just the first, the only guy. And after that, um, you know, I tried to productize it a little more and make it a little more approachable to people. And the rest is history. That was good. I don't know if you saw Valatorn, but I just killed uh, the Shade of Hakar in Sunken Temple after three tries and an extra wipe thrown in there for good measure um, and figured out the strategy in the process. And I don't normally do that on my stream. It's too embarrassing. Um, <laughs> Mainly, he said you screwed up all his beautiful Lua code. <laughs> nice. Hey, Doran. Better than the what? Four at the start. Um, ooh, let's turn this in. Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't really like showing people, you know, how I figure out how to fight a boss just because I'm kind of embarrassed about it um, most of the time. What am I grabbing here? One gold. One, 106, 105, three gold. <laughs> okay. Everybody took the life force drug. This was a jack shit quest, man. That was shitty. The rewards were awful. Oh my gosh. And I worked so hard on it. That was bad. Dude, I'm I'm embarrassed for the quest reward. 
although Mutalia did actually does actually want to switch to it so that's actually oh it's so bad so I'm gonna go with thrash blade and life forcer and you know what Mutalia does not have daggers up so she's gonna be like way behind she's only daggers 212 so she's got to get her daggers up man that sucks i really thought the uh quest rewards were gonna be better those are not very good those are not very good all right i don't quite want to quit yet so let's go do a quick princess run we'll do our 20 minute princess run. After we repair. Maybe we get some PvP in here right now. Very high probability. Got some PvP in earlier. On the boundary between Tearsfall Glades and Western Plaguelands, there were some punk ass warlock pally suckas um who kicked my ass at first because i just logged in and i forgot to party up now if you don't party up nothing works your heals won't work um your buffs won't work it's bad so i had forgotten to party up and nothing was working i wasn't able to heal and, blah, 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 and the paladin was killing me and mommy 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 um, but uh, then I realized what went wrong after I ran back to my body, which is a incredibly short run back right there at the bulwark, by the way. It's just right there at the graveyard. I rezzed, ran back, and killed both of them with the help of some other uh, horde who were on hand with no further loss. Got 53 and 87 honor points respectively but here in this area i mean you sometimes have a chance to wipe a whole group who's getting ready to go into mardon and you got to be ready to get them but i don't see anybody on the spy So I'm feeling like, eh, if there was somebody here, I'd see them on spy already. So now I'm just going to look for bodies. There's no bodies, so probably no PvP. And we'll let Mutalia, we need to give intellect to Mutalia now that she's leveling a dagger. So I'm going to pull Mutalia's intellect buff out and put it in place and make sure she always has intellect on her so her dagger goes up super fast. And what we're looking for here, again, we already got one, but we're looking for a second Blackstone Ring. And, I mean, if I'm greedy, the two-hander would be nice and also another... Um, Another one of these gem shard hearts. I'm missing one gem shard heart. So hopefully that drops too. I'm not looting anything. I mean, Valatorn's sitting there saying, Great Scott! You're killing things without looting them! No wonder you purr! Uh. Yes, I'm poor. I feel like, you know, I'll be rich later. We should buff. I'm gonna 
let him finish summoning his suck he bus. And by the way, I haven't forgotten, haven't completely forgotten about the fact that we need more shards. All right, that was a full buff in one go. Let's get in there and start killing. Dit. Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. Multiple Hydras. Eh. Let's fight this one. So when you're fighting these Hydras, turn yourself and back yourself up against the wall so you don't like get thrown forever away. Actually, you know what? They didn't back up very well, so I'm actually gonna just have me and Mutalia thrown away. Look, I looted something, and it was a clam. See? See? I got punished for looting. Now I've got to double loot that. Let's just get through this really quick. I don't actually need uh, Tinker Gizlock anymore because I've gotten off everything off him I, I need. So I'm really only doing princess runs now. Um, and I jump down and kill um, Rip, Rip Saw, Rip Lock, Rip Jaw, Rip Jaw. I'm gonna hold all three here just till I get a, a demo shout in and then bring in Mutalia. That seems to hold them pretty damn good. Also gonna drop a poison totem. Because there was still poison from that last fight. I should be skinning here, but I'm just gonna I'm trying to go as fast as possible, so I'm barely gonna loot if that. loot while I'm fighting but no skinning no time for skinning ain't nobody got time for that got to get through this pack fast so we can be ready for the uh, the rock pack which probably has already done a cycle and that rock pack takes forever and while you're waiting for that rock pack to come back ah oh, perfect you'll usually pull another set of lizards and the rock pack will come right when you don't want it to. And the best thing to do with these rock packs is um, not die. I don't know why I'm dying. Guy's not freaking healing. Heal, bitch. I'm, I got some multi-box lag there. That's what that was. A little bit of multi-box lag. Now we're okay. But you'll go pull this next set of lizards, and of course the rock pack will come right around the corner while you're trying to fight them. And ruin your whole day. Cause a wipe. I don't want any wipes. Alright, no wipes today. At all. No chance. This is a princess run. A pro princess run. Usually you can just do... Um, the five button all the way to the end on these guys once you're level um, 49 or higher but it wasn't working for me because I had some multi-box lag going on there why am I looting but we do need to drink I'm wondering if I could cast that druid spell to um, Calm down animals, calm beasts, or whatever it's called. Do I have it? I think I, I think I bought that. 
just so I could experiment with it. What is it called? I have Innervate now. Shit. I did not know. Uh, do I not have it? I guess I don't have it. Maybe I didn't buy it. I thought I bought it to calm beasts so we could like sneak past these uh, these snakes. Nope. I did not buy it. That sucks. Okay, watch us not sneak past the snakes. Oops. My bad. Okay, do not let those snakes be anywhere near your healers because they have a AoE silence. I keep calling them snakes, they're lizards. Come on, Fierce Watch, what the hell, man? You don't know this shit? They're dinosaurs, dimetrodons to be exact. Oh wait, it says dimetrodons in their name, so I'm, I really didn't prove anything to you about my knowledge of dinosaurs. Okay, don't loot, don't loot, don't loot. Okay, can we sneak past these dimetrodons? Doesn't look like it. And in fact, some of us got stuck on the other side. It's not cool, bro. I'm gonna run her back to her stack. Get back to your stack, woman. Make me a sandwich. And yes, I have another pack in the distance that we have to do. Such a pain in the butt. All this trash. You just don't face this at all with um, Modern WoW. And I think that's a good thing. I think trash is an artificial construct. I mean, there should be one set of trash that's challenging after another, and they should all be different, not just the same thing over and over again. I have no problem with the barrier to entry to the, the bosses, you know, but a grindy barrier is different from a challenging bar barrier, and this is a bit of both. It's challenging and grindy. These Dimetrodons were challenging when I first got in here. From a multi-box perspective, I mean, you come in here with a, a pug group, <laughs> Come on, there's no challenge to any of this. Multiboxing is much more challenging than pugging. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Let's get up that ramp. Let's drink, though. I have Innervate now. Hmm. You know what? We don't even really have to drink because of that. We're going to innervate spirited. He can drink. Scrub. Warlock can drink. I don't care. Okay, done. We are out of here. Now, uh, you would go that way for Gizlock um, if you wanted to do Gizlock first. Not everybody does it that way, um, but I wanted to do Gizlock first until I got my shield. Now I don't do Gizlock at all, so that's all I want, man. Okay, there is a, a patrol that comes down here, and there he is. 
He's not keeping me waiting. And this patrol you want to fight right on your stack. Shift one, we'll cast Wrath. And then you just open with five and taunt. And five isn't working, yes it is, but I've got multi-box lag. Make sure you do heal. I'm gonna actually drop, drop some chain heals. This is a good pack to drop chain heals on. Because a lot of people get hurt in this pack. And then this guy's gonna drop three more. Pets. Pain in the ass, but very, very small. And now this guy, you do not want to fight on your stack. You want to pull him away from your stack and fight him. And make Mutalia get behind him. Make Mutalia. I'm sure you have a character named Mutalia. Make sure she gets behind him. Oh, better finish this off fast. I'm going to call a Death Wish. Finish off this boy quick. Because that guy walks so damn slow. I mean, you have absolutely forever to finish this off. Now the one key, in case you don't know, calls all melee to you. And that's what I use a lot because I use that in um, vanilla too. Whoa, where are you going, baby? Where are you going? You're blowing your freaking death wish. But you notice he does a stomp that hits everybody, and you don't want you don't want Mutalia to <laughs> don't let Mutalia die. Make sure you do have a character named Mutalia, otherwise five minute multi boxing won't work. I'm gonna drink. Got more lizards. And there's another um, boulder pack patrolling around that is getting ready to ruin your day. I do not actually, I have never killed um, landslide up, up the ramp. Um, it's too hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say too hard. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I haven't thought of a good strategy. Everybody gets stunned for eight seconds and that's too long. That is too fucking long. For all those ads that pop out so I don't know I need to watch some videos or something I need some maybe somebody needs to do that for me show me how to do it cuz uh, I don't know man Landslide. I'll do them later. What am I, 51 now? I mean, I came here and tried to do landslide at 48 and gave up. Then I tried him again at 49. So maybe at 51, landslide is not going to present much difficulty to me, but he just doesn't drop anything I want. How's that for sour grapes? <laughs> that guy doesn't drop anything I want anyway. What would I do him? That's some serious sour grapes there. Now this pull, these pulls are hard, they're annoying. Um, at 48, they're uh, extremely annoying. And you just gotta kinda feel your way through it and learn how, learn what works for you. But aggro is very important in these pulls that you don't let these guys get away to your stack. So don't be afraid to um, really build some aggro at the beginning. 
it helps a lot. Okay, I'm going to hand click some of my personal buffs. And we're just waiting on the Warlock. We are going to put the Soul Stone on. And wait a little more. I know there's a freaking another rock pack that's going to come right around the corner after I start this pull and wipe me. Oh, can't remember. Is there? Isn't there? I'm going to say there isn't. There's no other rock pack. Shit. Rock pack. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to split them up. That's how we're going to do it. That'll work. Take one of those behemoths out of the, out of the project. We're going to hit the five key. Spirited don't die. Spirited did die. I'm gonna hit the five key. Five key. Five key. Battlefield died. You know what? I think we're gonna be okay. Whoa! Do not walk off the back of the. Oh shit! It might not be okay. Did not get my, oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew they were there. And yet in my hubris, I did not think it would be that much of a threat. And now it isn't because one of those guys is dead. Now I can take both of them, but they were there. You guys going, you guys going that way? Okay, I'm gonna res really fast. In fact, I'm gonna swig a potion. Because I didn't want any damn wipes. This is, I've now lost my chance of my 20 minute princess run. Because of wipes. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. There's monetide down, which is shitty. It's one, one of the problems with Vanilla WoW was they really underdid it on the on the spells and and the equipment and the gear. Vanilla WoW just like really really underdid it. And the effect of that is that you can kill a level 60 character if you're level 49. You just have to play better. Because the difference in gear and abilities is so so small. What's up, man? Can the Kernan Kernan guard current current Kirk Kirk guard? That is a very Nordic name right there, Kirkegaard. All right, let's uh, innervate somebody. I'm gonna innervate spirited, I guess. And we are going to finish buffing everybody. Ooh, I lost a buff. I lost a buff. Must have drug one of my things off the bar. You and you. And keep drinking, people. And I will stand up and start healing people. Why not? Why not? Because I do not have any mana. This guy will heal people. I'm gonna mouse click heals. So, what you missed today, Kierkegaard, was um, downing the Hakkar boss in Sunken Temple for the first time. 
It was hard, but I did it. And I'm very proud of it. And came up with a, a strategy that works really well and made it almost trivial. Almost trivial, I would say. I think people would agree. Hello, rocks. I'm not afraid of you now, rocks. sets of these clowns. Am I going to stream this weekend? Um, this weekend, I think so. Yeah, I think I'll stream this weekend. We have a, um, we have a race on Saturday that we're doing. So, Yeah, there's no music. Play your own music, okay? Give me a soundtrack. Make it a good one. We have a race on Saturday. Um, uh, Eli and Tanya built their first race car, a Porsche 924. It's a horrible little car, and they are going to run it in the 24 Hours of Lemons race um, on Saturday. But they're going in tomorrow for tech. So they converted the Porsche to a carbureted engine, and to a carbureted intake and got it running i mean they, what, this was the last week they could get it running and they did get it running so they are going to be racing it was looking kind of iffy but uh this is happening so on saturday i will be at the raceway um, helping them with tech and stuff with mechanics and crap like that. I'm a good mechanic. I'm not just a incredible coder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I said that. I'm holding the alt key down by the way. Mutali is was swinging there for a second, but I really want to just build aggro and make sure nobody look at that. I lost that guy anyway. Utalio just with some cleaves and or whirlwinds lost her guy. I'm actually gonna move her behind them. Just so she gets the the behind you bonus, whatever that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's getting the behind you bonus. Don't ask me how WoW works. I really don't actually take part in the theory crafting and all that. I kind of generally remember the details of, you know, hit and crit and armor and shit like that. But I don't get too wrapped up in min-maxing or anything like that. I rely on other people to do that for me. And laugh at me for not knowing this stuff putting the wrong gear on my guys, that kind of stuff. All right, Ken. Have a good day at work. Yeah, this time I'm really going to open up with alt. Utali is just going to stand there and not do anything. And now I'm going to get some swipes in. Now I'm going to let alt go. They still didn't like Mutalia. They really hated Mutalia. After all that, she just charged and did nothing. And yet they still wanted her. I, I jumped out of that heel.
because I called the wrong heel. Remember how I said, if you call the wrong heel, just jump out. It's better to um, interrupt a DPS than to send the wrong heel out in most cases. I mean, you'll, you'll get savvy and you'll know, but I just hate wasting heals. And look at Spirited, he's almost dead. He's almost completely drained of heals. He, need, he probably needs his heal rank turned down, honestly. I don't have any heal rank limit on Spirited right now, and that's probably not good. He's probably casting too high of a heal. All right, let's do Princess. That took long enough. Let's uh, drain a mana shard here, drain a soul shard. I've been, I've been letting my shards drain away and I need to regen. Let's drain this guy too. These guys are really easy to, to farm soul shards on because they will never hurt a single person in your raid. Fury swipe, stop it. Just show us how to do the princess. Shut up, man. Stop pulling turtles. I want to see what she drops. I wouldn't mind that two-hander, honestly. I feel like that two-hander would be super nice bonus um i would probably even switch to it although i think it's level 50 so it wouldn't be as good as w if it had dropped when i was level 50. maybe it's level 49 maybe i'm just really overestimating this So the only thing you gotta do with Princess is, well, you do need to have your pet out. My pet's dead. Those um, double giants, by the way, are terrible on warlock pets. Um, they will kill them. And that's always annoying to lose a warlock pet to those giants. The imp is a much better pet for those. And the imp is a better pet for this one too. I should have brought out the imp, but nope. Just going with it. More mana, please. This guy's still in combat. He's got a toad on him. Kill it. I wonder if we were all still in combat because of that frog. Thirty-six seconds on my personal buff. I'm gonna redo that. Everybody else is cool. Do we have a Soul stone, we do not. That's still got 17 minutes to go, so we're gonna be relying on, we're not gonna wipe, are we? We're gonna be relying on uh, reincarnate. Actually, that stack is too far back. Let's just go right here. Yeah. Everybody on stack side on this one. Only stack side. And hit Tremor Totem. And wow, I just got a full ass. Oh, you know why? Because my Tremor Totem wasn't there. Fuck. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. You know what? I think we might be able to recover. I don't really need the. Um, don't really need the. I'm just gonna. Um, and I didn't get Tremor Totem out again. Damn it! Oh my gosh! You must have Tremor Totem out. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can't recover because I'm too stupid to put Tremor Totem out.
Here, while I'm doing this, I'm going to try and get Trevor Totem out. Trevor Totem, who's got it? You. Yeah, that's all right. No, that's not all right. <laughs> Gosh. I, you know what? I underestimated how important Tremor Totem was. And if this guy doesn't have Reincarnate, that's it for me tonight. Because I'm running back from Mardon. Reincarnate. Okay, I've got my Tremor Totem out now. I'm going to actually put that permanently in five minute multi boxing in that slot. Because it's really, really important. Especially on Princess. Well, that was rough. I did not know that Tremor Totem was doing that much. I thought maybe I was out of range of Tremor Totem. Maybe, uh, you know, it was just a coincidence that I was coming out of fear that fast. Maybe I was just, you know, it was just a really short fear. Nope. I hit Tremor Totem every time and it always cured fear. So screw that, man, Tremor Totem. I don't know what you Alliance are going to do. But we got this wired. My drinks I need water <sighs> tons of water okay my 20 minute princess has turned into a 40 minute princess oh well I'm still getting my princess 13 minutes to Orbs, so we have no choice. We have to make it here. Too much mana. Okay, I'm actually going to leave Brutalia down here. And we're going to do the double wrath pull. Now my, my shift one wrath button stops working in combat, all right? There's a reason for that. So I'm gonna hit one with shift one and then, then I'm gonna mouse click another wrath or two. I threw a growl down just to hold it. Now throw another growl down. Do not let it go back to your stack like that. That's extremely bad. Retaliate, what are you doing? I'm calling you up here, sucker. Okay, 
Okay, now is a good time to call your death wish. Turn your totem down. No problem. And that didn't work out very well, but we're still okay. Lost mage. Gonna hit my toss some heels. Try my totem. Oh, I got that growl down. That, that was a good growl. That was a good growl, man. We're on executes now. Just hit the button faster. Uh, let's go ahead and... Turn the totem fast. Get over here, you. Don't be hitting her. Ah! Don't you die. Don't you die, spirited, you son of a bitch. Kill her. Dead. All right. Um, what dropped? Is it the Blackstone Ring, which I very much need? Is it the gemstone heart, which I would like, or is it the two-hander, which would be great? Gem shard heart. All right. Well, you know what? I came in here for a gem shard heart. I got a gem shard heart. I can't really complain. Somebody out there in heels. Nobody should be out there in heels. Who could that be in my house? Okay, so this guy needs the gem shard heart. It's going to be a big upgrade for him. I mean, I don't know why I'm kind of semi complaining, but yeah, gem shard heart is his. All right, it was sloppy, whatever. I'm porting home. And that, my friends, is a good multi-boxing stream, if I do say so myself. Time for work. Good night like and subscribe and hit that notification bell.